Okay, so I'm here again in Fredericksburg, historic Fredericksburg. Uh, we're going to do the practice day for Unit 7 from Fredericksburg. Okay, like I said on day three, this unit's a short unit. So today's going to kind of summarize what we've talked about, and then we'll do the review tomorrow, test the next day. So first, they ask us to find the perimeter and area for each of these shapes. So that's what we need to do, find perimeter and area for the shapes. Now for perimeter, remember, all we have to do on perimeter is add all sides. That's all there is to it. Add up all the sides. So for the perimeter, I'm gonna do 10 plus 15 plus 12 plus 30. If I add all of those up, I'll get 67 inches. There's my perimeter. For area, this is a trapezoid. It's a trap. This is a trapezoid. So our area is gonna be one half, base one plus base two times height. Our bases are the ones that are parallel to each other. So one half times 15 plus 30. And then the height is eight. So that's our height right there. If we calculate this, you would get, let's see, that's going to be 45. Eight times a half is four. Four times 45. You should get 180 inches squared. Hang on, guys. Okay, there's number one. Number two, we have a, the sides are the same here, so this is a rhombus. So for perimeter, it doesn't really matter what shape it is because we just add up all the sides. So 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. Add them all up and you get 80 centimeters. Now for the area, for a rhombus, it's going to be one half diagonal one times diagonal two. So one half diagonal one, they tell us is 12. Diagonal two, they tell us is 16. So one half times 12 times 16 will get you 96 centimeters squared. So there's numbers one and two on the practice day. Just finding perimeter and area. Number three, they ask us to find the base and the perimeter of this rectangle here. So remember, area of a rectangle is base times height. Now, like I said the other day, don't let these fractions scare you. Five and three fourths is just 5.75. Five. 
Think of it like money. If you have three quarters, that's 75 cents. So first, we've got to get the base. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base, no trouble. Okay, anyways. 126.5 equals the base times 5.75. Divide by 5.75. And then I need to get out my calculator to figure that out. Let's see, 126.5. Divide it by 5.75. 22. So our base is 22. What, 22 what? 22 football fields? No, 22 centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this B down here then. I wanna write 22 for B. So that's 22, top is 22. This side over here is 5.75. So now for perimeter, I add them all up. 5.75 plus 22 plus 5.75 plus 22. If I add all of these up, I'll get 55.5. So that's my perimeter, 55.5 centimeters. Remember, put your units. You don't want me putting your units. Or maybe you do, because then you get a good laugh. But I might throw weird things on there. 55.5 giraffes. Elephants. Football fields. Make sure you put units. You don't want me giving you units. Okay, number four, find the base of the triangle where the area is 192 centimeters squared. So we need to find the base. Well, for a triangle, I know the area is one half base times height. They give me the area. So 192 equals one half base. I don't know that. I know my height is 12 though. So what I would do at this point is do one half times 12 and simplify that side. 192 equals six B. Divide both sides by six. And you'll get, let's see, it's gonna be three, here your one. 32 centimeters. Let me double check my math here, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be 32. 192 divided by six. Yep, 32. 32 centimeters. Okay, so that's just area of quadrilaterals and triangles. Pretty easy peasy. So now let's look at five, six, seven, and eight. Those they tell us to answer in terms of pi, meaning do not put pi in your calculator. If you do, you're probably gonna have a bad day because I'll count them all wrong. Find the area of circle P. Well, area of a circle is pi r squared. What's this 16 though? Is this our r? No, this is diameter. So to get my radius, I need to do diameter divided by two. 16 divided by two is eight. So that's what I'm going to plug in for R. 
pi times eight squared. Again, you do not put pi in the calculator. If you need to calculate anything, it'll be eight squared. Hopefully you know that, but if you need to calculate it, eight squared is 64. Bring your pi down. 64 centimeters squared. Okay, there's our area. Number six, find the length of sector MPN. Notice it says length, it does not say area. Length. length of sector MPN. They're trying to trick you here because they're saying sector, wanting you to think, oh, that's the air, no. And they got it shaded. So they're really trying to trick you, but no, length. So length is equal to two pi R times M over 360. Okay, two pi, our R is three, the M is 80 over 360. Okay, so we, if we put anything in the calculator, it would be two times three times 80 over 360. Do not put the pi in there. So let me, I can't do this one in my head. Let me calculate it. Okay, so this is going to be four thirds. And then I bring my pi down. I'm gonna be in inches. So the length is four thirds pi inches. Okay, number seven, find the circumference of circle P where the area is 196. Well, let's see, what's our formula for circumference? Two pi r. That's what we want. Is that what we're given though? No, we're given area. Area is pi r squared. So I've got to use my area to get my radius and then take my radius and plug in to find my circumference. So 196 pi equals pi r squared. Divide both sides by pi. Pi's cancel. I'm left with 196 equals r squared. Take the square root. That means we're gonna have r is equal to 14. Take that and then you have to plug it in, plug it in. So two pi times 14. What, don't judge me. I haven't said that in two lessons. It's going to be 28 pi inches. Okay, next one. Find the area of circle A. I think I'm missing a pi somewhere. I need to put a pi right here in which the circumference is 36 pi, we're going to say inches. Okay, 
Okay, so we need area. Area is pi r squared, but they give us circumference, which is two pi r. So I'm gonna plug in what I know for circumference, 36 pi equals two pi r. Divide by two pi. Those are gonna cancel. The pi's are gonna cancel. 36 divided by two is 18. So r is 18. Now I'll come over here, gonna do pi times 18 squared for the area. If you type anything into your calculator, it just needs to be this 18 squared. That's it. No more, no less. And if I'm not mistaken, 18 squared is 324. Yep, it is. So area is equal to 324 pi inches squared. Ooh, KB. So there's those. And last but not least, we have a square. We want to find the area of a square. Or no, take that back. We don't want to find it. They give it to us. The area of a square is 576 in square inches. So area is 576 inches squared. What's the perimeter of the square? Well, 4a squared, what's our formula? Area is side squared. So 576 is equal to s squared. Take the square root of it. Square root of 576, I believe, is 24. Let me check. Yep, it is. So 24 is the length of one side of a square. But they don't ask for the side, they ask for the perimeter. So I'm gonna have to do 20, either 24 times four or 24 plus 24 plus 24, plus 24. It's gonna be 96. So perimeter is 96 and we're gonna be in inches. Okay, so that's really it. Today was a practice day. You know what that means? On practice days, there is no lesson, or sorry, there's a lesson, there's no guided practice because the lesson is like the assignment. So that's the lesson. You've got your assignment, hop to it. If you need anything, you know how to reach me.